Hello and welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network. Today here at Lawrence High School, the Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Trenton Tornadoes in boys varsity baseball. Stay tuned for all the action. At this time, will you please rise, remove your hats, and join us as respectfully honor America as Lawrence High's select match goal sings our national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bomb bursting in air Gave food through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the We are honored to have Lawrence Mayor's Christopher Bobbitt here today to throw out the ceremonial first pitch at today's home opener. Mayor Bobbitt, the mound is all yours. Thank you again to Mr. Mayor Bobbitt, members of the Lawrence Township, fans that are here today to support our Cardinals. And thank you to Trenton High for being our guest today. Best of luck to both teams. It's time to play ball. Let's go Cards. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is LTPS TV. I'm Sports Tire. And I'm Tom Irvin. And we got a great game here. And the Cardinals are just prepping. It's the Lawrence Cardinals versus the Trenton Tornadoes. That's right, Sabor. We're looking forward to a great game here. This will be the, officially the first home game of the season for the Cardinals. Uh, they did play one other game so far this season, but it was scheduled as a away game earlier this week. Because of the rains, they moved the away game to be played here. So unofficially, this will be their second time on the new turf field. Looking very good today, isn't it? Uh, in terms of the sun is being out, however, the wind is going to be a huge uh, factor for the, for them today. Absolutely. The wind, winds will be as high as 30, uh, 30 miles per hour. Yes, and the, the wind is actually heading off uh, toward the first baseline, so any balls that are head up into the air are going to be drifting towards that first baseline. Hopefully the folks out in the parking lot don't get any busted windshields from this one. This should be an inciting game for both teams. Lawrence oh. lost uh, to a score of 3-1 to one last time they played to Hamilton West. However, uh, this is Trenton, the Trenton Tornado's first game. And who do we have uh, pitching today for Lawrence? Uh, Stephen Cope. Yes, he's warming up out on the mound right now. It'll be just a short while, and then they'll be ready to start the game. Winds are already affecting us. Um, should be an exciting game. Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, we saw the Lawrence mayor out there a short while ago as he threw out the ceremonial first pitch of the season, first home game of the season pitch. And we're looking to see if the Lawrence pitchers can do an even better job. Go, 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 go. 
Now stepping up to the plate for Trenton is number one, Jeffrey Ascona. Here comes the first pitch to Acona. And that one's low for a ball, I believe. Oh, I'm mistaken, that was called a strike. And the next pitch, strike two. Turned to not really putting anything in right now. They gotta try harder. And there's a pop fly out to right field. Easy out for the Cardinals. And that will retire the first batter from Trenton. Now stepping up to the plate for Trenton, number seven, Ricardo Scarillo. Trenton has to be a little bit more aggressive. They did take a hit, but uh, it was out. So they need to work a little bit more on their coordination. Here comes the pitch. And that'll be low for a ball. Scrillo watching for the next pitch. Pops Hit. it high. And Drifting foul, but another easy out for the Cardinals. So two up and two down. Well, that looked like a hard ball to catch, but it was r rather easy. It was in an easy position. However, the, uh, the winds you were discussing earlier probably made that a tricky catch. Fortunately, not a problem for the Lawrence team. Lawrence is rather good in, the, in that category. One more out and then it's no more Trenton and Lawrence will coming on, I'll be coming on the field. Number six, Giovanni Rodriguez stepping up to the plate for Trenton. He'll watch the first one go by. Got to knock this one out. Trenton hasn't really got any momentum quite yet. No, Trenton hasn't laid a, well, they, they popped a couple of them up, but they haven't made anything happen here so far. Two outs, this is gonna be big. Two strike. Here comes the next pitch. And that's a strike. There's the pitch and, and another hit. pop fly. This is drifting wide. Oh, oh, he missed it. And unable to hang on to that one. Lawrence will drop it. And we still have a batter at the plate as Giovanni Rodriguez will get lucky on that one. Could have very easily been an out. Oh, that was a lucky play right there, no offense, but yeah. was rather lucky. He yeah, fumbled he, the ball. He was fortunate there that Lawrence couldn't hang on to it, but he's still got to try and get on base. So here comes the next pitch. And there's the third strike, caught him looking, and that will retire the half as the Trenton Tornadoes go down one, two, three for the top of the first inning. Lawrence will be coming up to bat next. First up to bat for Lawrence is Nick Cafrida. Nick Cafrida is one of many uh, multiple sport athletes here at Lawrence. We've seen him, I believe he was uh, playing soccer this year, wasn't he? Uh, I'm not sure, I don't believe so. But he did also. And that was a strike. Another strike for Nick Frida. Well, Nick Frida is getting ready. So, 
I think I expect a big uh, play by him before the third third uh, bat. Third pitch, sorry. Here's the pitch. And that looked like a ball. That was definitely a ball. In the dirt it went. So two and one the count right now. Pitch off. Nick or Frida. Pop fly. Foul ball. So he did get something in. That was good. Hey, just barely got a tip on it there. That will count as, it would have counted as another strike if he didn't already have two. So still two and one the count. Two. Nick, Cafrida, pop fly. And. And that one's an out. And he's out. And he will be going back to the dugout. He's going back to the dugout. Going back to the dugout for Nick Cafrida. And that ends the bat. That's the first out for Lawrence. First out for Lawrence. Now stepping up to the plate is Hunter Rivera. Number four for Lawrence. Um, Here's the pitch, and that's an out, a strike. Uh, that's a ball, I believe. It looked like a ball. I think that was just wide. Look a little. Here's the pitch. Another ball, it looks like. Yep, down in the dirt again. You can see the leaves whipping across the field there. It's very windy. And I think it's going to really affect the ball movement. So any, anything could happen. If, if it, it could be a home run or it could be a foul ball. The wind will really affect a lot of the playing here. That's true. Pitcher studying the plate, looking for the right pitch. And that is a... I believe that was called a strike, wasn't that, it? That would look like a strike. No yep. dirt, no nothing. That is a strike. So strike. Hunter Rivera has yet to swing his bat. Rivera must be looking for his kind of pitch here. Well, I feel like Rivera will be ready. He did get two balls, two more, and he gets a free run. Here's the pop, the pitch, and okay. another out. That's a strike. Strike. Sorry. Oh. Sorry about that. All right, pitch is getting ready, Rivera. One more strike and he's out. That'll be the second for Lawrence, but I believe that he'll be able to do something. Because most of the time... And tipped foul, but he'll he'll still be at the bat there. Tip foul, that was. Got a, tu got a touch on it. So... One ball, that is. Sorry, one ball, not two, one ball. Two strikes. I do believe, though, every time you see anyone play, the third strike, the third, the third, when, when the third strike is on the line, they're always ready. And, and that, that'll be a walk. A walk for Lawrence. Why was that? Fourth ball for Lawrence, a free walk, and the first time anyone's ever gone to first base successfully. That's true. First time in this game. And that's uh, Hunter Rivera on first. Hunter Rivera. Looking for someone to send him over to second. And who's who's going to be putting him over there? That will be... That'll be Trevor Delico. Trevor Delican, Delco. Oh. And oh. 
a line Hot drive. Fly. No, not a fly. That's a line drive. Throw to first gets there in time for an out, but it advances number four, Trevor Dalcamp, over to the second base. Even though that. Second out for Lawrence, however. Oh, uh, we're mistaken on that, Sabor. Apparently, he did beat the throw. So oh. that puts runners on first and second. Oh, well, that's good. So Lawrence, Lawrence making things two. happen here in the bottom of the first inning. Lawrence looking good right now. A chance to put them on the board. Jo Aiden Joyden. Joden. Aiden Joyden at the plate. Looking for a pitch that he can sink a bat into. Here's the pitch, and it looked like a ball. That was definitely a ball. A whole lot of dirt on that one. Wind right now, not too much, but it will get windy real soon. <laughs> Runner at first taking a little bit of a lead off the base. Runner uh, at, yeah. I think he's going to maybe run it, run for it. We'll and see. And here, runner at second starting to stretch it out a little bit, too. Number Give the pitcher something to think about. Aiden Joyden looking for a big one right now, and that's a strike. Pitch is up, and that's another strike, that's a strike. for Aiden Joyden. This is really becoming, well again, so far all, to, all today, I, all, what we've been seeing really is uh, the batters really step it up and when, uh, when the third strike is on the line, that's when they really show, show that's, their. That's true, Sabor. When it comes down to the third strike, you can't afford to let it go by. Oh, and we've got a hit batter. That's an automatic base, and we'll advance the other two runners. So we've got runners on all three bases. Bases loaded now as so, our next batter comes up to the plate. Uh, that is Joe, Joey Heiner. Joey Heiner. Joey Heiner. Trevor Dillcomp trying to get a score for Lawrence. All right, Joey Heiner looking to get Trevor Dillcomp home and put Lawrence on the board. That's right, Lawrence in scoring position here with runners on all three bases. And this should be some uh, important motivation for the next inning for Lauren, uh, for Trenton. Here's the bat that looked like a ball. I think you're right on that one, Sabor. It was a ball, all right. We've got a bit of a restricted view here, but that sure looked like a ball to me. Indeed it did. Next pitch. Joe, ball is And number four, Lawrence steals home for a run. And Second runner going in, and it's... Two points for Two Lawrence. Two points for Lawrence. Trevor Delcom and a third a one on the way. The and he's safe. He's We've got safe. three runs in three that play. points. The most points scored by Lawrence this season. Trevor, Ryan, Casserole, Trevor Delcomp, and Nick, oh no, no, excuse me. Trevor Delcomp, Nick Afrida, and Aiden Joyden, all points up for Lawrence. And uh, and after three runs, Joey Heiner is still at the plate. I wonder what happened there. What happened there was the pitch got past the pitcher and allowed people to steal, and then a little bit of an error on Trenton allowed more runs in. So Trenton really step it up. 
but I think they're playing the best they can. And that's a pop fly. That's a bunt. Bunt, and he is... Yeah, it looks safe to me. Safe. Or is he coming back for an hour? He's nope, he's safe. Joey Heiner, Joey Heiner, safe. A chance to give Lawrence... That was a well-executed bunt by Heiner. He dropped it down short and then sprinted it out to get to first base before the throw. Very well done. Exciting job by them. Now, next up is Colin D'Angelo. Yeah, we're looking to see what Colin can do now. Well, Colin can help this team out real well. And oh, what was... Well, it looked like uh, runner at first tried to lead off a little bit. Joey Heiner got... Heiner a little messed, uh, he, messed up that. Well, that no, he was doing what he was supposed to do. He's leading off as far as he can from first base and distracting the pitcher. The that pitcher was, tried to pick him off at first, but Heiner beat him back to the plate. That was a so. good eye by the pitcher, though. Here's the pitch. And Heiner that, trying to make a steal. Oh. He does. Heiner with a steal. What a play. That, look, that is a strike, but it's a steal by Heiner. An excellent job by Heiner. And well executed by Lawrence. Yes, uh, Lawrence definitely making things happen here in the bottom of the first inning. We've got three points on the board, runner on second, and we got a lot got of Colin D'Angelo still at the plate. And he has, and here's Colin D'Angelo hit, and that one will bounce foul. Bounce a foul ball for Lawrence. But. Um, I do think after this next inning's over, uh, Trenton's really going to want to step it up. Uh, they have not got a single bat in yet, so real good motivation. For them. Yes, Trenton uh, failed to get any runners on base in the first inning. That's something they'll definitely want to try and improve on the during pitch. the second inning. And There's a ball, but Heiner beats the throw and makes it steal the Heiner third. Really making things happen, Joey Heiner, and he has a chance to score. So and that was a, believe, a ball or strike. Joey. All right. Heiner's on third, on, but uh, D'Angelo's got two strikes against him right now. So this is going to be huge right now. If he gets a strike out, I don't know if it will. And a pop fly. And, and Heiner's that was caught for an out. Caught for an out. Or it looks. Yes, Trenton made a diving catch on that one. Uh, very well executed. Indeed. Kind of uh, robbed D'Angelo of an uh, easy single there. I thought he had it dropped in the pocket, but Trenton made a diving catch and got a hold of it. So Colin D'Angelo, not much from him, but Joey Heiner able to make some moves there. Next up to the plate is Ryan Sullivan, who was also, who was also Ryan Sullivan strike out. By the way, Ryan Sullivan was the goalie for the Lawrence soccer team. Yes, we have many of the uh, multiple sport athletes playing. Good preparation for this season, indeed. It helps to keep them fit between, uh, between years. Seasons, yes, I agree. So, let's see what uh, Ryan Sullivan can do. And uh, Joey Heiner about a score as well. Here's the pitch, and another strike. Two strikes and two outs. Lawrence. Looks like Trenton might be one pitch away from getting out of this inning, and they, they could sure use it about now, couldn't they? Indeed they can. This has definitely been a nightmare so far, but I, that one play, that uh, miscatch, and now everything went wrong. That was a foul. Yes, yeah, foul tip there foul by tip Lawrence by and Lawrence. by uh, Sullivan. That'll, that'll keep him swinging at least one more time. All right. Here's the pitch and the pop fly, and it's deep, deep. And Joey Heiner scores. It makes it four for Lawrence. No, that one won't count as Trenton fielded it for an out. Oh, so amazing that, job by Trenton. Prevented that, the fourth point for for Lawrence, and they will try and survive and uh, 
We'll try and put some points on the board for uh, for Trenton as they will take the bat in the second inning. And that brings the first inning to a close. Your score, your uh, Lawrence three, Trenton nothing. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. There's the first pitch of the second inning thrown to Brian Rolden. That, was, that went yeah. by for a strike. Well, I don't expect too much right now at this point. I, third strike, when the third strike's on the pop, fly. He's on yeah. the run. Ball's deep drifting in the wind, but drifting. easy out for Lawrence. Another easy out for Lawrence. The wind, however, is making it difficult, so that will be a huge factor for these, catch, uh, these catchers today. Steven Dominguez now stepping up to the plate for Trenton. Any pop fly is about to happen. We'll see. First pitch to Dominguez. High for a ball. Steven Kopp gets a, gets a ball. Steven Kopp is short. Next pitch to Dominguez. Goes by for a strike. So one and one the count. Not expecting too much right now. Again, third strike is where it's everything spruces up. Well, you never know. Sometimes people hit it on the first pitch. That looked like that a ball. That one was low for a ball, definitely. Indeed, that looked like a ball. A lot of dirt on that one. Yeah, even I could tell from over here that was a ball. Cop with the pitch. And I'm expecting a big one. Dominguez and it's a line drive up past the shortstop, fielded by... Outfielder, and that will hold the runner at first base. That was the as Trenton gets their first runner on base of the game. That will, indeed, that was that was their first pitch. That was their first base, and I do believe that this is going to be something, uh, something real positive for for them. For uh, it'll be re something real, real positive for Trenton. Real positive for Trenton, as I think uh, now they have a good chance of scoring. Well, next up to the plate will be number 12, Jordy Rodriguez. See if someone can get a home run. Maybe help the team out. Not expecting don't any. see a whole lot of the home runs in high school ball, but anything's possible. It would be amazing to see a grand slam. It would really help out Trenton. Yeah, we had the potential for that in the bottom of the first when Lawrence had the bases loaded. They managed to get a lot of runs in even without it. It was a home run for Nick uh, Sorry, Joden. No. No. Home, no, home, no. no. Oh, all right. And pop fly. And a double play by Lawrence to retire Trenton. Double out for Lawrence, Trenton. And Lawrence is now up at bat. The Trent, Lawrence, D, Lawrence. Uh, at the bottom, at the end of the top of the second inning, We're Lawrence to still leads three to nothing as we head into the bottom of the second. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. All right, Lawrence is now up at bat. They lead 3-0, so I am expecting some aggressive offense due to how well they did on the bottom of the first inning. All right. Up at the bat is... I don't see a 15 on the roster. Nor do I. <gasps> oh, Chris Ne... Looks like Chris Nevius is in the game now for Lawrence. Chris Nevius for Lawrence. Chris Nevius, who had a little bit of a pop fly, who had a foul ball, I believe that was. All right, here's the pitch. Chris Nevius, and that, that looked a, like a He strike. swung on a low one for a strike. That one, that was a little low to be swinging at. Good attempt, though, good attempt.
Here's the pitch, Chris Nivius. Ooh, wind is really coming in now. And that looked like a ball, almost. Ball. Two strikes on Nevius here, as so he'll be looking to try and get on base. Well, Chris Nevius, I'm expecting him to be aggressive, as all player, baseball players are when a third strike is on the line. So let's see what he does. He did sw swing the bat a bit, so that that just shows some signs of aggression. Here's the pitch, and Chris Nevius hits it, and he's uh, off to first drive base. And an error by uh, Trenton. Line and drive that one. Nevius makes it to first. Nevius makes it a first. Excellent job by Nevius. And a uh, little something Trenton should work out for. Little, these errors will really come and hurt them later on. So just watch out for them. Maybe what the problem for Trenton was is that we're playing on a turf field. I don't believe Trenton has a turf field. In fact, they've been going through some troubles with rebuilding their high school. So this is a little different type of surface to field a ball on. And it definitely is. Bouncing a ball might have caught him off guard. It def oh, nice move by Chris Nevius, however. Yeah, throw from the pitcher doesn't get there in time. Nevius is safe at first. Good eye, though, for the pitcher. And Chris Nevius getting away from base. And... Chris Nevius is on. got an attempted steal, and he's safe at second. Attempted steal. What a steal by Nevius. Nevius the, making things happen out there on the field. And this is the sign of uh, kind of things Lawrence likes to do. So they need to keep it up. That's right. Lawrence has been very adventurous with their steals today, and it's been paying off for them. Indeed it has. Next up at the bat is uh, Hunter Rivera. Hunter Rivera, number one. Hunter Rivera. Hunter and Rivera looking for the bunt. Bunt, and he's he beats it out, makes it to it first base on it. time. And they're getting and they're and they and they're lucky to get these ones. Uh, they're they're good at getting safe. Uh, they're good at getting to first any kind of base and getting safe. Well, not only did he get to first base, he also advanced a runner to third. So we got a runner in scoring position here. Nevius now with a chance to score and give Lawrence ex to extend the lead. And the win really coming in now. So it'll really affect this pitch. And that's uh, Brian Castrol. Yeah, as we return to the top of the order, this will be the second time we've seen Castrol at bat. All right. Another attempt to pick off the runner at first. Runner drops back in time, tags up. Good attempt. Good, it definitely that was a good attempt. All right. Pitcher really looking in, seeing if anyone can make a steal. Here's the pitch and a strike. Well, that was low ball, for a ball. ball. Runners are a hold up at their bases. Still runners at first and third. Wouldn't be surprised if I see a, a, saw a steal. Lawrence tends to do that. Yes, I've seen a lot more steals than I expected in this game already, and we're only in the second inning. Should be real exciting down the line. And here we go. Oh! Ryan uh, Hunter Rivera tried making a, a steal. Wasn't quite successful. Another good eye by the pitcher. These well, things. pitcher tried to pick off, and Rivera was... Had no problem beating that throw back to first base. So not much of a problem for him. Indeed. Pitcher really is up. Going farther to the base. And here we go. That's Ryan Casserole. And... And we got an attempted steal going for second. And there it is. Oh, and Overthrow Rivera going for and third. And Nevius scores four. And... Puts Nevius... Uh, in for the run. It, it yeah. makes it 4-0, and Rivera's at third. So an excellent job by Lawrence with the steal. Absolutely, and capitalizing on another Trenton error as the Tornado is having a little bit of trouble here today. The Tornadoes, these errors are really going to hurt them. Yeah, they've been hurting them, and the Lawrence error, has been quick to capitalize on them. Errors made them 4-0, but again, this is a different surface for them. They're not quite used to doing it, so can't be too hard on them. Also, it's early in the season for both teams, so... Things Down the stretch, expect both teams to 
improve as the season goes on. And other than Lawrence, this is their first game of the season, so they are still uh, trying out. I do believe, though, next uh, next time, well, for the future, they'll, they'll uh, try uh, cap uh, stop these errors from happening. Now, the teams were trying to get in some scrimmages, but uh, had some trouble with weather that weather. limited the number of scrimmages they were able to do. And the pitch was up, and that was a ball for Ryan Castro. Uh, weather really has been a problem this spring. There's been a lot of snow, and there's been a lot of rain, and it's been a huge problem for a lot of these teams. Yes, as a matter of fact, it rained all day today. It just cleared up a little bit before game time. Because of the turf field, we're able to play here, but games that were scheduled for other Here's fields... Here's the pitch, and Ryan Castro hits it. A pot fly, and it's a foul. Foul ball out in the parking lot. As I was saying, some of the other fields here... Uh, we had to cancel events. There was a girls varsity softball game that they had to cancel because the field was just too wet. So really this spring, not, not looking so positive right now, though later down the line, should look nice. Nice and smooth for Lawrence. Here we go. Here is the pitch, Ryan Casserole, and almost a steal for Rivera. Rivera was ready to run there, but no play, so he has to drop back to third. And here we go, here is Castro. Yeah, Castro had a good eye there not to swing at that one as it dropped and went for a ball. Two balls. Uh, two to one. Uh, another ball, and that's a free run. And that's a walk. A walk for Lawrence, and he's off to first. That Ryan puts Castro. runners on first and third as Lawrence is once again loading up the bases to see if they can make some more things happen in this second inning. Uh, Trevor, Trevor Delcomp is in now for, uh, for, for bat. And uh, we still got Hunter Rivera looking to score. And uh, Ryan Castle makes some moves. They got two guys on base. Four to nothing to score right now. So in the bottom of the second inning. And here we go. Here is... Oh! Throw to first, Throw to not first. there in time, and nothing changes. That's when they're catching good eyes, though, not quick enough. I like the aggressiveness, though. Lawrence is really getting aggressive with these steals. I think the Trenton pitcher is just trying to keep the runner on first honest so he doesn't get too big a lead off. They're not really expecting to catch him when he does that. Yeah. Though catch would help them out. Yes, it would. And here's the pop fly. Oh, that's a pitch. line drive right past second base. Pop fly line drive and Trevor Del Comp is, is at first. And Hunter Rivera scores for Lawrence. And 5-0. Uh, that's right. Lawrence got five runs on the board already here in the second inning as it's really been a good game for Lawrence. And Ryan Castro is in third. Pot really looking good for Lawrence at this moment. That's right, Castro is in uh, scoring position here. So we might not be done seeing points on the board for this inning. No, Lawrence is really be getting aggressive. And this time, well this time, no it was no steal, it was just a classic, classic score. Now Nick Cafrida. Nick Cafrida coming in now at the bat. No else yet for... No outs yet also, so Lawrence can keep this going. Yes, I was expecting a little bit more of a game out of Trenton than what we were seeing so far. Again, uh, this is their first game. Lawrence is trying to come back from that loss they had earlier, so. Well, they're coming back in style. Definitely a good game for Lawrence. Indeed it is. Looking so far to get their first win, and that is a ball. Ooh, trying to steal again. Couldn't get there in time as, uh, as Trevor Dilkamp tried to make a steal. And Ryan Castro is in scoring position again. So here we go. Nick Cafrida at bat. The pitch is up. And that is a. And run. here's a steal for second. So a nice steal for second. And Trevor Delcom comes in at second. So runners on second and third. We've got uh, 
batter at the plate and no outs. Still no outs, so that's right. Lawrence definitely having a good time this game. Indeed they are. Always good when you see the home team doing well. Good for the fans and good for everyone else. Absolutely. Nick Cafrida, pop fly, going into the line, and he's... Oh! Oh! He dropped the ball. Dropped the ball. The pitch was there, in, or the throw was there in plenty of time, and the and also first a score baseman for dropped Lawrence the ball. Lawrence makes it 6-0. That Ryan Castro, and a drop like that, and... Uh, well, Sabor, earlier you were talking about the errors were going to really hurt Trenton as the game went on, and this is turning out to absolutely be the case. That was another <laughs> error right there. Indeed it was, another error, and this is really going to be hurting them. Uh, we got to work things out, but I think uh, I think next inning uh, Trenton and Woolley will be, get aggressive. And uh, also, Trevor Delcom trying to score for Lawrence, and here is... He, Here's a Aiden Jordan. He's off. Jordan pops and out. And Nick Caffrey. Uh, sorry. Trevor Del Camp. Scores. Scores. 7 0. Gentlemen, gentlemen, can you tag on the backside? 7 0. And uh, Lawrence definitely having a great game here today as the right. sun starts to poke out here at the Cardinal Stadium. And also, it's only the bottom of the second inning. They're really being aggressive. Who have we got coming up to the plate now? Well, we got uh, we got Joey Heiner coming up right. to the plate. Right. Joey Heiner at the plate. We got Heiner him. was really fast at running the bases in the first inning. Uh, here's the pitch. Strike. That one was close enough that Heiner leaned first, back for it. but Try to make a run for it at first. Joey Heiner now. Wind now coming in a little bit. Very gusty wind. Anytime we get a ball up in the air, that's very tricky for the fielders. And a ball. And it looks, looks safe for Lawrence. Yes, uh, the catcher tried to make a throw over to second to head off the steal and Jordan was to able to do that, but they had trouble fielding that ball and no no problem for our runner to get back to first. Jordan had a good, Jordan made a great effort to come back. And Lawrence really has, uh, they have made a lot of steals and, in, and when they can't make a steal, you know, they, they happen really quick to get back to first. And here, and here's the pitch and through the line it's a for bouncer to the third baseman. He'll throw to first, Heiner. and it gets there in time to make the out. First out by Lawrence. Heiner gets out. However, however, I believe that's the second out. Se second out. My mistake. Aiden Joyden, however, gets to second base. Yep. And next up at bat is Colin D'Angelo. Colin D'Angelo. Got two, uh, got struck, struck out. But he did help out. He did help out Heiner to score. So he did help out. Still seven zero. Two outs. Bottom of the second inning. And that's a. Pitch and oh, pop fly. Bouncer gets uh, through the third baseman's glove. Gets through third base and a nice pop fly by Colin D'Angelo, who heads the first. And also, and also, uh, uh, Trevor Dill Camp uh, is in. Who have we got at the plate now, Sabor? Oh, Ryan Sullivan is at the plate right now. Um, so, also, Ryan Monahan also an issue to score. 
Yeah, Monahan on third, taking a bit of a lead there, seeing if he can get his moment of glory coming across home plate. Indeed. Here's a pitch and a pop fly. And, and it's going up. Drop into the pocket and for an easy single. Easy single for them. Drives a run home, and now it's eight to nothing. Eight zero, and that was Ryan Monahan with the score. And uh, also, that leaves us with runners on first and second still. Colin D'Angelo at second, and Shane Ryan Sullivan at eight. All right. Next up at the bat is. Nevius, Chris Nevius, and that looked like a ball. That was tipped foul. Tipped foul, all right, foul ball. Chris Nevius, uh, Chris Nevius. And here's... Nevius, hit, foul ball. Runners at first and second. Trying to make a move and a steal. They'd like to go home. Indeed they do. Chris Nevy, and that's a... That's a ball. Ball again for that. Ball again. So, trying to make some strikes for uh, Trenton. But another ball, two balls, uh, one ball. Yes, the Trenton pitcher having a tough day here. The winds, however, really also uh, uh, making a problem as well for these pitchers. And another ball. The wind, however, definitely is a huge factor. It's like pushing air down to prevent strikes. So a wind is, def again, wind is really gonna affect it, uh, the remainder of the game. I think it's more of a factor when we have a pop fly. And a pop fly and, and an easy that out. That was actually a swing and a miss. Swing and a miss for, swing and a miss for Lawrence, and that takes the score up to eight nothing at the bottom of the second inning, and we are headed to the third. Trenton is up bat next. Your, the score is eight to nothing, Lawrence. And you're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. All right, here we are for the top of the third inning. Trenton at bat, stepping up to the plate. Remy Cruz, and first pitch is a strike. And that looked like a strike. So really, Lawrence really in comfortable position right now. Oh yes, Lawrence definitely in comfortable position. Though a <laughs> that looked low for a ball. Look low for a ball indeed. Although a comeback is possible, we're only in the third inning. There's Absolutely, can't can't put that one into books yet. And that's another low for another ball. Low for another ball. Rennie Cruz trying to make something happen and try getting Tarrington's first points on the board to avoid a shutout. And, a and Cruz ball. gets a piece of it. Throw to first is there in plenty of time, and that's an out number one and against another, Trenton. Another easy out for Lawrence. They really know They really know what to do. Yes, Lawrence's fielding has been very good, where Trenton has had a little trouble hanging on to the ball. Maybe no. the cold weather is affecting their fingers. Cold weather is affecting the weather. I think it, I think later on in the season, uh, when when better weather when better when better weather comes, it'll be easier for Trenton. Now at the plate, Lavar Funderburg for Trenton. And that first pitch looked like a strike. Funderburg looking for another one. He's looking for a bunt, but it's popped up fly up and up against the backstop. Didn't look too much there. Not too much. That'll go as another strike. Another strike. That's the second. Try to get another out for Lawrence, and we'll be, it'll be their second if he does not make it. Okay, here comes the pitch to Funderburg. 
And that looked Called like a for strike. a strike. One more strike. Still, someone has to get on the plate in this inning. Two strikes against Funderburg. He's looking for a piece of it. Swinging Checked up, Swing but miss. not in time. And that's called for a strike, and he's out. A swing and a miss for Funderburg. Not even a swing. And now Brian Rivera. Still good attempt. Good attempt. Brian Rivera now coming up at the bat. Rivera looking for the pitch. That's low for a ball. Trenton has yet to make it the whole way through the uh, the order. They have to even make a, a they have to That one's in for a strike. They still have to even score. I don't even think they got to third base yet or even attempt to score. But again, different field definitely. Rivera looking for the pitch. Mighty swing, but no connection for another strike. Two strikes against Rivera. Another and strike. And that one goes by for the third strike, and that will retire Trenton and bring us to the bottom of the, bottom of the, the third, third inning. inning. As Lawrence is leading eight to zero against the Trenton Tornadoes, you're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. Oh, next at the bat is next at the Hunter Rivera. Hunter Rivera at the bat. As Trenton. Has yet to. Lawrence has. Lawrence. Uh, that's a strike. Lawrence, however, has eight points already at the bottom of the third, and they've really been playing phenomenally well. Really capitalizing on Trenton's errors. Here's the pitch. And that is another out. Another strike. strike. Steven Dominguez, the pitcher for Trenton, has been in for all three innings now. Uh, he's had a rough go of it, but he's still getting some strikes in there. He's also the only Trenton batter to have gotten on base. And that was a foul ball for Lauren, uh, for Hunt Rivera. Steven, he's been doing the best he can. Uh, Steven Dominguez really has been playing. He, he, he has been playing well. Arguably probably one of the best on Trenton's team. And here's the pitch. And that's foul ball by Hunter Rivera. Rivera got a piece of that one, but it just didn't go the right direction. Foul balls are tend to be common. Tend to be common. And that'll be two strikes against him. Two strikes. One more. I'm expecting a huge one. Here's the pitch by Dominguez. And here's the pop line and drop ball. And he's out. Nice play there by Dominguez. Amazing play by Dominguez. And I think that's that's uh, most of the time they make an error like that. It, it normally turns negatively, but that was something real positive for Trenton. I think it's a sign of their, their fielding and all that. Yeah, the ball was hit straight at Dominguez, which would be tough as a pitcher to try and field that. He wasn't able to get the catch, but he recovered quickly and made the throw to first in plenty of time. Plenty of time, and that's real positive for Trenton. Who do we have coming up to the plate now? We got Ryan Cast. We have Ryan Casterol, and that's first one to strike. Ryan Casterol has scored one of Florence's eight points. Dominguez ready, waiting on the pitch. Dominguez and Castro, and that looks like a ball. A little dirt on that. Yeah, that was wide. Ball two for them. Wind now really coming in. Yes, it's turned into a sunny day here, but the wind is getting wind. stronger and stronger as the game goes on. Okay, here is 
Dominguez on his pitch. Dominguez, and that's another strike. Two for two right now. One ball and two strikes. Wind now coming in hard. I don't know if Dominguez will make, will make the throw. Here's Dominguez. And that's a strike. That is strike three. Strike three and a strikeout. And out goes Ryan Castro. And coming in now is Trevor Del Delcamp. You know, it's possible that Dominguez, Dominguez is getting better as the game goes on indeed, as he knocks playing, the rust off from the winter. He is playing a, a lot better now. Um, and really, Lawrence hasn't been able to do much at the moment. So th this is actually, they have two outs at the moment. Yes, this seems to be the uh, toughest inning Lawrence has had. Indeed, they have no points yet. And that's a ball. Still waiting on the pitch from Dominguez, who has been playing phenomenally well as the game progresses. Trenton not making any errors. They had a tiny error, but they were able to capitalize on it, so that's good for them. And he, as we wait for Del Camp, and that's a strike. So nice play by Dominguez. As he's able to get a strike from uh, Del Camp. Wind a little bit coming in now, a little harder now, as per se the other ones, other innings. Here's the pitch that looks like a strikeout. No, that was a ball and that'll be a walk. Oh, a ball, sorry. A ball and a walk, and that looks something, looks good for Lawrence. That puts Del Camp on first. Del Camp on so first. Two outs, but a runner on two first. Outs, two yeah. outs, someone's on first though. They'll and who we got coming up now, Savor? We have Nick Afrida coming in for Lawrence. So things are looking real well. Things, look, things are looking real comfortable for Lawrence. And here's the pitch, and that's a strike. But things, however, are looking better for Trenton as they are playing better. Grafita is one of the few people today batting lefty. Dominguez and another that's a strike again one more and that'll retire Lawrence for the inning well, we've got a ball and a strike a oh, ball and a strike one for one right now here's the pitch and a strike that one's a little high I think that was called for ball Oh, that was a ball. Another ball. Win now coming in, so it's going to be hard for Kafrida to get a nice hit on it. It could easily be a foul ball. Yeah, I think the uh, strategy here would be to try and do a grounder. Dominguez and Kafrida has the got it. grounder out towards second. He'll tag out the runner at second, and that'll be the end of the inning. And that's the end of the inning. Trenton, amazing job out on fielding as they shut out Lawrence in the third and and that's the end of the bottom of the third inning and we are headed to the fourth inning eight nothing Lawrence but Trenton up at first and you're watching the Lor uh, Lawrence Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV and here we are for the start of the fourth inning as number one, Jeffy Ascona steps up to the plate for Trenton. I think as, after that... Ascona was uh, unable to get to base in his first at bat this game. And as he lets that one go by for a strike, he won't be getting getting to base this way either. I do think, though, after the, after the impressive work by the fielders, that's another strike. I, as I was saying, I do think for the impressive job by this... 
That by the fielders. Ball. Oh, it was a ball. I do think uh, the impressive job by the fielders will uh, improve them. Yes, any of the pop flies that have gotten as far as the outfield have been handled quite easily by Lawrence. I w would expect, uh, though, Trenton is going to get really aggressive here in the bottom, uh, the top of the fourth. As and Kona with a pop fly, that'll drift foul, and it's headed for the parking lot. Two strikes against Ascona as he lines up looking to get a piece of this. And the wind now coming in hard and gustier than. And here comes the pitch. Fly. Popped way up, but it's going to drop short because of the wind. And it oh. drops right in the middle of the infield. Nobody could get to it or judge where it was headed with that wind. And that, that will put Ascona on base for a single. And that was a well, the wind, and that was a huge part. I don't think he made it out that the wind played in that play because no one could really tell where the ball was going to go. No. They dropped the ball, <laughs> and well, Actually, I don't know. not necessarily an error for Lawrence, but something real positive for Trenton. Well, I think you're right about that wind. I, th I think that was wholeheartedly responsible for that not being an easy out for Lawrence. That the, ball was headed out towards the outfield, and it just came right back like a boomerang. And the wind really now is coming in, so it's going to be hard. Uh, it's going to affect a lot of plays. We've got a substitute batter in right now. Uh, Jose Estevez is now at the plate for Trenton. First time we've seen him at the bat. First pitch was a ball. And the second one is in for a strike. On the strike. Still waiting on something for uh, That one comes in real low for another ball. Two for one. Two balls. Estevez hoping to make something happen for Trenton. Pop flop. And that, miss. that one is a swing and a miss for another strike. Swing and a miss for a strike. And one more. Trenton still with a runner on first. So anything's possible. Stretching out a bit of a lead there. Swing and a miss as Estevez goes down swinging. And first out for Trenton and now who's up at the bat? Well, it looks like it's going to be Giovanni Rodriguez. Rodriguez uh, also failed to get on base his first at bat. He's looking to improve on that. We're exp I'm expecting something real huge for Trenton. That one goes by for a strike. Lawrence. Stephen Kopp showing the heat there on that one. Stephen Kopp always showing the heat. He's been showing the heat for the most of the game. He's been playing phenomenally well. He's been able to get a lot of strikes. Ooh. Oh, and we've got a hit batter. That will send uh, Jordan Giovanni Rodriguez to first base, and it will advance a runner to second. And as air, all of a sudden we've got Trenton with two runners on base. Two runners on base. First time this game in an error like Lawrence, and, and now Lawrence just now made, made an error there. So that could affect them later. I shouldn't really improved off of their errors, and now Lawrence, maybe those errors might be coming on Lawrence. Again, though, the win also could be shifting the ball a bit, so the wind is a little playing a little impact on that pitch. Now coming back up to the plate is Brian Rolden for Trenton. Awfully cold also today. Yes, it is cold. I'm sure that's affecting the players. But they're playing through the cold. That like one a ball. goes in for a strike. A strike. Jim was walking out all the sun. There's the pitch, and he uh, gets a piece of that one, Pop sends it out towards the outfield. Could be an out. And, oh, he dropped the ball. To get the catch. Runners will advance to first and third. First and third. Impressive move by, well, um, 
A little error for Lawrence again. The ball looked like it was going to be a, a dip, uh, well, the wind was really affecting the ball at that play. It was going to be a hard catch, and I wasn't surprised that he dropped it. Yes, it did drop a little short there. That probably threw him. Lawrence was able to make the play at second for a second out. Second so out. we're just one out away from getting out of this inning. However, Trenton also in scoring position. Yes, that's right. We've got a runner on first. That's number one, Jeffy Azcona. Up at plate, we got Steven Dominguez. Dominguez is the one batter that actually got on base in his first attempt this game. He's been uh, working that arm out quite a bit pitching. Let's see if he's got anything left for the bat this time. Dominguez also probably has the hardest position. Pop fly. And he pops that one up. And, and that's caught for the third out. And that will bring the top, the top of the inning to a close as Lawrence continues to lead with a score of 8 to nothing over the Trenton Tornadoes. Cardinals having a good time here at the Cardinal Stadium. And you're watching the Cardinal Sports Network on LTPS TV. We're at the bottom of the fourth inning. An impressive uh, job by Trenton in that inning. The, the best they've done so far today. Let's see if uh, let's see if Trenton still has it in them. Uh, and here, and here comes here co here comes Aiden Joyden at bat. We got a score for them. Who has one of Lawrence's eight points? Getting a lot of good noise out of the Lawrence dugout there as they're cheering Joyden up. Good support, and that looks like a ball for Lawrence. Steven Dominguez. All right. Fighting Dominguez still at the mound for Trenton. Still at the mound. And Dominguez, pitch, and oh, hit batter, and that's a free run. Uh, walk That'll off. get him to first. Next up at bat is... Next up at bat, it, Joey Heiner, <laughs> who has, again, one of Lawrence's eight points. And here is, and Steven Dominguez looking to work his arm out. Air is slowly coming back. Here's Dominguez. And that is a... Ball. Yeah, catcher had a little trouble hanging on to that, but uh, runner did not attempt to steal. Good play by Lawrence. A uh, good, good move by Lawrence not to make a steal. Yes, yeah, catcher recovered quickly. That could Dominguez have been a problem. ball. And, and another hit. hit batter. Hit batters are going to hurt them real hard. Uh, yeah, they hurt. We've got runners at first and second now for Lawrence. Who have we got coming up to the plate now, Savor? We have Ryan D. Uh, Colin D'Angelo. Ryan Sullivan. Excuse me. Ryan Sullivan. Colin. Colin D'Angelo. Oh. Colin D'Angelo at bat. One of the substitutions. Yes, uh, Colin's in as a designated hitter. Right, Colin D'Angelo looking now. There's one strike against D'Angelo. Strike against D'Angelo. Runners at second and third now. And third, yeah. So, uh, and uh, it's Lawrence in scoring position. Yeah, you sure you was. And <laughs> Dominguez for the pitch. Well, not yet. He's still looking things over. <laughs> Here's Dominguez. Nice hit. Oh, oh right near. off the foot. And a score by right. Aiden Joyden. That drove the run home, but uh, play at first got an out for Trenton. They got one out against Lawrence. They have one out now. 
but the core the score still counts and it's nine nothing and they increased their lead by one well, one more point they add one more point to the lead all right still a nine nothing lead at the bottom of the fourth next at the bat is Ryan Sullivan and that's out so I'm gonna let that one go by. Next up is uh, Dominguez here, waiting on the pitch, waiting to throw the pitch. Dominguez on the throw and that was a foul ball by out. Sullivan. The win really did get a uh, win, got a part of that. Yeah, I think wind or no wind, that one was going out. Wind has made a lot of balls go out, though. Uh, we've seen some plays affected by the wind already today. And Oh, and that was ball. called as a hit batter. Another hit batter for Trenton really affecting them in this inning. They already had three. They had, This is their third. So Lawrence now with runners on both first and third. First and third, Lawrence in scoring position as, as Joey Heiner looking to score his second point of the game. And the 10th overall for Lawrence. And here at the bat, here at the bat is Nick Cafrida. Dominguez on the pitch, and that's a ball. Oh, but Lawrence trying to make a steal. And successfully at that. Successful. Amazing play by Lawrence with another steal and one of their many steals in this game today. Yes, uh, Lawrence has been great today at running the bases. They, once they get to first, they usually advance quite a bit. Advance all the time. Uh, Joey Heiner looking to make a, a steal. But... Uh, that's pitch is called for a strike. Pitch is called for a strike by by Nevius. Nevius now at the bat. One and zero right now. Nevius, Nevius, hit ball. Look like a foul. You are correct, sir. Look like a foul by Nevius. So one for one right now. Uh, Not a piece one. of it though. Indeed, showed a little bit of a, a great. Uh, Showed aggression, or showed his aggression on the ball. So he's he's starting to to lighten up a bit. Dominguez on the throw, and that's a fly by Nevius, and a score for Joey Heiner. Yeah, that was a bouncer in the infield, got over the pitcher's head and forced a bit of an error. Heiner. Allowed runners to advance and allowed that run you mentioned. Heiner with his second point and 10th overall for Lawrence. That's right, 10 to nothing the score as Lawrence continues to build the lead here at the Cardinal Stadium. And they got they got got they got guys at first and third. So That's they, right, Lawrence still in scoring position. Ryan Sullivan looking to get his another point for Lawrence as Hunter Rivera, Hunter Rivera, who will go in for Lawrence at the bat now. Almost an attempt steal. That one's called for a strike. So strike for Rivera. Still in scoring position. For Lawrence still in scoring position. Dominguez. And that's a ball for, for Lawrence and Rivera. Yeah, the runners hold right where they're at. Nobody tries to steal on that one. Making some good plays. Uh, Lawrence making some good plays right now. Rivera, another ball. And the catcher thought about making the throw to first, but uh, runner got back in time, so no play. Good play. And here's Dominguez on... So waiting. Score 10 nothing. bottom of the fourth. Been an aggressive game so far for Lawrence. Here's the pitch. 
And that one was well wide for a ball. Well, nice, net nicely done for a ball. That's the third, so uh, one more and he gets a walk. Uh, I think it's, it's two and one right now. Two balls and one strike. Oh, two to one. Pop fly. Uh, nice line drive there. Not line drive and Ryan Sullivan scores. That brought the run home. The shortstop was unable to handle that one. And, and the runner made it to first with no problem. Excellent job by Lawrence. Able to get capitalize on that and get this to first. 11 to nothing the score now. And Lawrence has runners on first and second. Now who do we have coming up to the plate? We, we have Roshan Iyer at the plate. Is this the first time we've seen him today? Support? Yes, it is. It's the first time we see Roshan Iyer today. Who want, wants to put up his first score for Lawrence? Yeah, I'll see what he can do with the first pitch here. His first pitch. D Dominguez looking for the pitch. Dominguez. And that's a ball for, Lor for Lawrence. Yeah, good eye there. 1 0 right now. Next win now coming in a little bit harder. I don't know if Dominguez still is going to make the throw. Maybe wait for the wind to calm down. Yeah, we should have expected this when they said that Lawrence is going to be playing against the Tornadoes. The Tornadoes really angry of how well of how the game's been going. But they are trying their best. And again, different fields. Different fields and first game as well. And the catchers come out to have a little discussion with the pitcher. Looks like just offering a little bit of encouragement, maybe some strategy on how to handle this batter. He is a new batter, first time. He's batting today. And Dominguez getting ready. Here is Roshan. It's uh, popped up. Looks pop like it's going to be a foul. Pop, foul ball. Yep, and that's another one out in the parking lot. Glad my car's not parked there. It was a smart, smart idea to park your car all the way back, especially when a baseball game is happening. They tend to break a lot of glass, and the car sounds go wild. And that's another strike for a strike for Lawrence. Two and one the count. Two and one the count, indeed. Here's the pitch by Dominguez. Nice it's line grounder. drive. Roshan Ayer. And no play. Bases are loaded. Bases are all loaded. Let's see if we can get a grand slam. Wouldn't that be something? Not Definitely not too common in MLB or in high school let it, and college. So grand slams are quite rare. Yes, actually trying to hit one out of the park today with this wind would be difficult. Not it impossible, be, but difficult. It would be real impressive. It would be very impressive. Now, who's going to be taking on that task? Drazer Midich is up at bat. Well, he looks like he might be up to the task. Drazer Midich. Drazer Midich. Drazer Midich. And Got a piece of that one, but it goes foul. Foul ball for him. So, Steven Dominguez, 11 nothing. but bases are all loaded up. Only one out on the board. Only one out for Lawrence, so they can keep, and they're definitely in scoring position. Come on, Charles. Get that, baby. Medich, and that's a strike. One and one. Uh, one, nothing. Now the danger of having the bases loaded is Trenton can throw the ball to any base and make an out. Exactly, so they can easily get two outs here. So. Right, we did see a double play earlier in the game when Lawrence was able to get two of the Trenton. Let's see if they get a triple play here, and that's, uh, and that's uh, a pop fly by Medich. And no, I think that was a hit runner and he advanced, so we walk another run. Hit runner and also another hit score. Batter. Hit batter. And also a score for Lawrence. 
and we got bases are all loaded up again, and the score is 12 to nothing. Well, that appears to have been called an out. Oh, an out, and that okay. retires Lawrence. So it caught us all by surprise. An impressive play by Trenton to avoid letting Lawrence score, and it's still 11-0, and that takes us to the end of the bottom, bottom fourth inning. Uh, we're ready for the fifth. And you're watching Cardinals Sports Network. I'm Subortai here, and this is LTPS TV. And here we are for the top of the fifth inning. Win is really coming in now. And stepping up to the plate for Trenton will be Jordy Rodriguez. Trenton's trying to make some effort. They did an amazing job on fielding, and that was a... That blows by for a strike. Good. Good. Good play by Lawrence, Stephen Kopp. Kopp trying to close this game out with no runs. And and that looked like strike two. Strike two for Lawrence, uh, for Trenton. But I'm expecting something real big right here. I'm expecting a ball foul or a, or a pop fly. Well, as fast as that last pitch was by Kopp, this might be another strike. But no, a little bit off to one side, that'll go for a ball. A ball. So a ball. So that's something a little, something for Trent, uh, Trenton. As for the thunder. Cop with the pitch. Low for another ball. Two for two right now. That's right, two and two the count. Two and two the count. Cobb has, having his fast arm, the problem is, he's getting in some balls, trying to get a strike. And swing and a miss. That will send Rodriguez back to the dugout. Looking for Remy Cruz to come up to the plate now. Cruz failed to get on base his first at bat. He'll. Try Look to see if he can improve on that. I'm expecting a little different play for Lawrence. And that's a first pitch is low for a ball. Ball, a lot of dirt. That one's in for a strike. Another strike, strike two for, uh, no, one for one to count. One and one, yes. So, Bor, with as much rain as we had today, can you believe how nice this field looks? It looks really fairly nice. Look how nice it looks, and it doesn't look like it rained too much. But again, this is turf. That's right. The turf has really made a difference Probably. on how these games are able to be played. Another ball. Two and two the count. If you look over at like the grass fields and all that, it looks a little bit different, a little mucky. That's right. They actually had to cancel some games today on the other fields because of that. And there's a strike. That will retire Rodriguez. Retire Rodriguez. Back to the I'm sorry, heat. retire Cruz. Rodriguez retire is Cruz. already gone. So two up and two down. Two that out. That should bring LeVar Funderburg up to the plate. I'm expecting something huge for Funderburg. They're, they they have one more out and it's retiring them for the inning. So I'm expecting some, some points and something huge for Trenton right now. Funderburg hasn't been on base yet today either. He's looking to change that. First pitch goes by for a strike. Stephen Cobb with a nice fast arm. He's been able to get a lot of the guys out. Lawrence uh, Lawrence Lawrence midfield fielders. Second pitch is a little low for a ball. The fielders have not let, let, let a score happen yet, and the wind is coming in now real hard. As everyone can feel it here. Wind, can, wind is really coming in now for Lauren, uh, for everyone. For everyone, yes. I actually saw some of the team players' hats blowing around earlier in the game. Now, Funderburg looking for the pitch. Strike. He checks up and it goes by for another strike. One more strike and then it's retiring and then Trenton is retired for the inning. Frunderberg hoping that that doesn't happen. Something real, something Cop real with big. a pitch. He gets a piece of it. And, and it, rolls, it rolls foul. Foul ball. 
Good attempt, uh, though, by... Oh, yes, Funderburg was definitely on his way down to first base there. Made the run real fast. Would have been there if it had stayed fair, but... Would have been his first... Did not stay fair. On the base, but... I think I'm expecting something a little bit bigger. Possible home run, anything's possible, but the wind, probably not going to let that happen today. Now, Funderburg's got the speed, has yet to show that he can do the hitting, so let's see what he can do with this pitch. Funderburg. And he goes down swinging. That will close out the top of the inning as Lawrence leads 11 to nothing over the Trenton Tornadoes. And with high school rules, 10 point lead and inning number five means the mercy rule. So that will bring our game to a close as Lawrence Cardinals are victorious over the Trenton Tornadoes with a score of 11 to nothing. The wind didn't stop the Lawrence batters today, did it, Sabora? No, it didn't. They were playing real aggressive today and uh, they were playing real aggressive. Trenton, I have to owe it to them. They did put a lot of competition in. But Lawrence really was victorious. The fielding, Stephen Kopp did a great job and the batters were effective. That's right, and that will do it for us today as Lawrence comes away victorious. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to thank my co-announcer, uh, Sabor Tire, for all of his insightful commentary. And also to our two camera operators, David and Dylan Ng, for their hard work at the cameras. Also Lawrence's first one of the season, so something real positive for them. Absolutely. And we hope to, and we wish the best of luck for Trenton. That's right, and we hope to see you again next time on the Cardinal Sports Network.